I think Mike Tyson, what happens, he tries to impress the public. I mean, he thinks it's an obligation. He has to understand the key to, to winning is do it your way. There was a big uppercut by Tyson. And the way he's doing his way now, but he has to forget about the crowd. Do it his way. And don't be embarrassed by his performances. Or a certain performance. And a left hand and that staggered Thomas. And a right hand behind it. Thomas in trouble again. And now Tyson moves in for the kill. Two uppercuts and a left hand. Thomas trying to hold on. Serious trouble. And down he goes. It's over. It is over. Thomas did not make it by the count of 10. You heard in the corner before that round, Kevin Rooney saying, start throwing punches with mean intentions. In effect, he was saying, can those jabs I've been telling you throw for the first five rounds and start throwing some real punches. And when he did, he did. I would also point out for those who care about such things that Tyson was a six to five favorite to end the fight before the end of the sixth round, which he just did. Well, that was a real test, I think, for Mike Tyson. Well, he fought a guy that had the right uh, formula supposedly to defeat Mike, and well, that was a jab to tie him up and to give him lateral movement. But I think what happened, he eventually, Pingo Thomas eventually got caught with one of those powerful blows and the rest was history. Well, Ray, you were saying that Tyson could probably go to the uppercut. I think you said that in the second or third round, and it took a couple of rounds, but when he got to it, he got to it. Watch this uppercut. Well, the reason I said the uppercut would be a fact is because Pink and Thomas at times would lean inside, and that uppercut, it was an accurate punch, and a very powerful punch. Now let's take a look at the knockdown. You know, we talk about finishers, and I've always said you were a great finisher. Well, here's a guy who doesn't have to take a back seat. Well, he levels his punches. I mean, he gets so much uh, leverage behind each punch. Mike Tyson can fight southpaw. He can fight uh, orthodox. He puts his hip behind. Look at him. He's just putting his entire body behind the punch, and it's, he's so relentless. Again, the uppercut, left hook. He's still in position to throw more punches, and it's just a matter of time. That left hook there was deadly just a great finisher. I mean, once his man is hurt, he is gone. Well, what, what Mike Tyson is such a threat to the heavyweight division is because he is such a good finisher. He gets you hurt, he doesn't let, let, uh, let you off the hook. 